Now in this video, I'm going to show you an overview on how to use Houdini Digital Assets in Unreal. So here in Unreal, first thing to do, of course, is to install our plugin. So if you have not already done this, is you can go to the installation of your Houdini files. In there, you will normally see a folder called Engine. Double click on this. And now you will see here Unity and Unreal. So these are the game engine plugins. If you don't see this, that means that during the installation of Houdini, you did not enable to install them. So here we are interested in using the Unreal plugin. So let double click on this as well. Then we see here the different versions of them. So I work in 2.5. And now we see here a, just a folder called Houdini Engine. You will need to copy this folder into our Unreal files. So in here I'm under Unreal 4.25. Then I go to my engine, my plugins of course. And then I go to the runtime uh, folder. And in here I'm just going to drag and drop this Houdini engine folder. You might need to restart the engine, of course, after this. So once that is there, they should work. So if you would now go here under plugins, you will see a Houdini engine. Then I want to load in a digital asset. So in here I have my folder with my digital assets. So, and I would like to import, for example, the quick tree here. So quick tree, you can just drag and drop this in here. Now this tool further we can just drag and drop this in the scene. There is a chance that actually nothing is happening. And that is, if I go here to file, we can actually see that my Houdini engine is not started yet. So I'm going to click restart to make sure my Houdini engine is on. When Houdini engine is on, you will see here that these are now highlighted as well. You can just delete this and drag and drop your asset, or we can just here start rebuilding our asset. And now my digital asset works fine. So you're going to have to make sure that the plugin is activated before we can actually start using our digital assets. So in here I have my tree. I can then here use the curve to then actually define more of these three shapes and so on. Let's say you're happy with this result. Then I'm going to go scroll down here to the bottom. And now we have here baking options. So we have different options to bake. Now, first of all, here we have Bake with Blueprint, Bake to an Actor. We have also Bake to Foliage and other options. We also have here actually the Bake folder. So by default, it's just going to put it into the game folder, which is basically here, this folder here. So it doesn't necessarily going to put it into a certain folder. So you can assign here a certain location where you would like to store these models instead of being stored here. So I can actually put it into, for example, here, my model folder. Now I just want to bake an actor. You can also bake a blueprint if you want that. So just click bake actor. And now immediately when I go here to my folders, you can see I now have now this tree. So now you can keep repeating this process. So you can either load in different assets or what we can do is we can go here and we can start changing my current asset to get more variations. So let's say I would like to have multiple trees for my scene. Like I like this one, for example. So I'm going to repeat the same process, bake to actor, and you can already see it here instantly popping up. So now I have a, another tree here. So you can just repeat this process to then generate as much trees as you would like to see. And that was it for this video. This video just showed you how we can load in assets, how to use assets, and how to bake assets as well to a final model. So hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.